ABN Health News tonight, the latest procedure to correct atrial fibrillation or AFib. It's a heart issue for nearly 3 million Americans. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa in our newsroom with more on what she found out today. Jocelyn. Sonia Darren, AFib is the most common irregular heart rhythm and if not treated could increase your risk for stroke. Now there's a one-two combination to minimize that and improve the quality of life. And then you're going to see um, living with a heart out of rhythm, atrial fibrillation is not easy for John Morsi. At night, sometimes I could feel it beaten in and out, but uh, plus you get short of breath, you get weakness. That's why he is undergoing hybrid ablation at St. Vincent's Medical Center. It's a combined approach using high heat to disconnect the electrical impulses that are misfiring in the left atrium of the heart. The goal is to get rid of these wires that help transmit the atrial fibrillation. This right here is the beast. It begins with electrophysiologist Dr. Joseph Tiano, who works inside the heart. And I put wires up through IVs into the heart. And from there, my wires can map which means I can find the electrical circuits that drive the AFib. Your left atrium is this structure that we primarily ablate. Then cardiac the surgeon ablate. Dr. Rafael Squiteri so begins his work outside the heart. the heart. Now we have a map that we did not have before we started the hybrid approach that helps us focus the ablation in the areas most likely to increase the success of the procedure. A clearer picture allows doctors to tailor the procedure to each patient's own AFib. The one-two punch has a success rate of more than 90 percent. This allows us to find the atrial fibrillation wherever it lives within the heart. There's nowhere left for it to hide. We can't call it a cure yet because we need to follow these patients out long term. And that's what we're doing right now. We're collecting our data. Meanwhile, John has only gone through the first step and can't wait to complete the treatment. Oh, you don't have to take as much medicine. You, I mean, you're not tired all the time. You, you know, your life's going to change. Both procedures are usually done within 24 hours. Not only does hybrid ablation offer patients a better outcome, there's also less trauma and a shorter recovery time. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com.